Okay, statement of cost of goods sold for the month ended January 2020. So, sa paggawa ng statement of cost of goods sold for manufacturing um, operations, so, kailangan tayong consider dyan yung direct materials, direct labor, at yung factory overhead. So, normally, nagsisimula ito sa pag-compute na direct materials used. Direct materials used. So, pag-compute ng direct materials used, kukonsider natin dito yung purchases ng materials. And ang amount ng purchases ng direct materials So, ito ay galing sa journal entry number 1 nung tayo ay nasa um, journal entries ng cost accounting cycle 100,000 pesos. Tatanggalin natin dyan sa 100,000 na yan yung ending inventory ng materials which is galing naman sa trial balance. Yung ending balance ng materials doon na 16,200. And tatanggalin din natin dyan yung indirect materials na galing naman sa journal entry number 2 na 3,000. 800. Therefore, direct materials use ay 80,000 pesos. And kung maaalala nyo, yung direct materials use is ito rin yung amount na nag-appear dun sa journal entry natin for number 2. 80,000 yung nilagay natin sa work in process. After direct materials use, co-consider naman natin yung direct labor. So, itong direct labor na to, makikita natin ito sa journal entry number 3. Ang amount niya ay 40,000. 1,000 pesos. After ng direct labor, ang isusunod naman natin ay yung factory overhead. Factory overhead. So, may direct material. Ngayon, anong factory overhead yung ilalagay natin dito? Meron kasi tayong factory overhead control at yung factory overhead applied. Ang ilalagay natin dito is yung factory overhead applied. Kasi yung applied, yan na yung amount na chinarge dun sa work in process. Yan yung factory overhead na chinarge dun sa product. And yung amount ng factory overhead applied is 34,000 pesos which is galing naman ito sa journal entry number 8 ayan so meron na tayo ditong direct materials direct labor factory overhead mako-compute na natin yung total manufacturing cost 80,000 plus 40,000 plus 34,000 ay 154,000 pesos. Ngayon, may total manufacturing cost na. <coughs> yan yung products na, yan yung cost ng products na gagawin into finished goods. After mag-compute ng total manufacturing cost, co-consider naman natin yung work in process 
beginning. So sa case na to, wala pang work in process beginning. So zero. Pag pinag-total natin ang total manufacturing cost at work in process beginning, makukuha natin yung total work in process na 154,000 pesos. Kung ito ang total work in process natin, yan yung total work in process na kailangan ma-convert into finished goods. Pag tinanggal natin dyan yung work in process end, mako-compute natin yung cost of goods manufactured. So, ito na yung total goods na nabuo. And ang work in process end, so walang work in process end. Remember, nung tayo ay nasa journal entries, lahat ng work in process doon ay na-convert into finished goods. So therefore, to total, cost of goods, total cost of goods manufactured ay 154,000 pesos. So ulit, remember nung nasa problem solving tayo, journal entries, lahat ng work in process doon ay naging finished goods daw. So ibig sabihin, itong 154,000 na to, ito yung total goods na na manufactured. Ito yung total cost of goods manufactured 154,000 pesos. Total cost of good total cost of tables na nabuo ni NP Company is 154,000 pesos. Ngayon, kung ito yung total cost of goods manufactured, ito yung nabuo. Kumbaga, pag dinagdagan natin yan ng finished goods beginning makukuha na natin yung total goods available for sale Ayan yung total goods available for sale so finished goods beginning plus cost of goods manufactured and wala namang beginning balance ng finished goods so ito ay zero pa din walang given sa problem na beginning balance ng finished goods So total cost of goods sold, ah sorry, total goods available for sale is 154,000 pesos. So kung ito yung total goods available for sale, pag tinanggal natin diyan yung finished goods end. Magko-compute natin yung cost of goods sold. And ang finished goods end, so ito yung nasa sa atin makikita itong finished goods end, ito ay makikita na natin sa trial balance. Nasa trial balance din yan. Yung amount na nag-appear doon, which is 30,800. So, cost of goods sold ay 123,200. And remember, ito rin yung cost of goods sold na nag-appear doon sa journal entries natin. Pero, kailangan pa natin yan i-adjust. Yung cost of goods sold na yan ay unadjusted pa yan. Kung baga, ito yung tinatawag na cost of goods sold at normal. 123,200. Ngayon, bakit siya kailangan ng adjustment? Dahil yan sa factory overhead. Remember, nagkaroon ng difference yung factory overhead applied compared dun sa total factory overhead control. Kung baga, may portion lang ng factory overhead control yung dapat or yung maa-apply sa work in process. Ngayon, kailangan natin compute yung difference ng factory overhead applied at yung factory overhead control. So, dito na lang sa, sa space na to. So, lagay natin dito yung factory overhead control. Dito na lang. Ang total factory overhead control sa trial balance ay ang kado yung amount nun? Ngayon natin. Factory overhead control. Ito ay 
34,950. Pero, pero, ang na-apply lang na factory overhead ko, na factory overhead, ay 34,000 peso. So, may difference na 950 pesos. What do you think? 950 pesos. So, yan ba ay over-applied or under-applied? Ito ay under-applied factory overhead. Bakit under-applied? Kasi ang ginastos ng entity for factory overhead is 34,950. Which is supposed to be lahat ito ay matcha-charge sa work in process. Pero, ang tina-charge lang talaga ng entity na factory overhead ay 34,000 lang. Therefore, sa 34,950 at 34,000 lang ang na-apply doon, yung 950 is under-applied overhead. And since yan ay under-applied Iko-consider natin yan dito. Mapa-under-applied man or over-applied, kailangan siyang i-consider sa cost of goods sold. So, under-applied factory overhead na 950 pesos. Yan ay padagdag. Kasi nga, under-applied. Kulang yung na-apply na factory overhead sa production. So, yung difference na hindi, na, na hindi naman na-apply is patagdag na lang sa cost of sales. Kung over-applied naman yan, mas malaki yung apply sa factory overhead control, ito naman ay pabawas sa cost of goods sold. But since ito ay under-applied, siya ay patagdag. So, ang cost of goods sold natin at actual is 124,150 pesos. Okay. Ang treatment ng under-applied and over-applied factory overhead ay depende sa materiality or depende sa significance ng amount. Kapag naman immaterial or insignificant ang amount, siya ay sa cost of sales considered. Pero kung significant at material ang amount, yung factory overhead, under-applied or over-applied, is i-allocate siya sa cost of goods sold, sa work in process, at sa finish goods. So, tapos na tayo sa statement of cost of goods sold. Susunod na natin yung anong sunod doon? Katingnan na, balikan natin yung problem. Ang susunod ay income statement. So, tapos na ang trial balance, tapos na rin ito, income statement, then balance sheet.